Welcome to this new episode and today I am in the company of Giacomo. How are you Giacomo? I'm fine, in italiano, come stai bello amico? Very well, I'm very, sto molto bene. E parli qualcosa in italiano, no? Anche, no? <laughs> Absolutely, so Giacomo is a, a Zen meditation teacher with lots of experience, so today is about Zen meditation. Giacomo, can you tell us a little bit more, what is Zen meditation? So I got through training in yoga, pranayama, when I was a teenage kid. Then it was more about a little bit Hindu stuff, Bhagavad Gita, but I went into Buddhist Buddha Dharma. Mm. And from Tibetan through also Thai Vipassana into Zen. And Zen is a mixture of Chinese Tao practices, mm. Different from Vipassana, there's more energy breathing, mm -hmm. which is also gentle strength. And it's about what Steve Jobs used for 30 years to be more creative, inventive. So it's a thing that uh, through Alan Watts and his books on Zen, on Tao and Tai Chi was popularized. You know, even the word mindfulness actually has its equivalent in Chinese Zen 1,200 years ago. And it was called Golden Age of Zen. Mm -hmm. And it's actually all about simplicity. What Steve Jobs did, the simple design of Apple stores, simple design of products, it's all about it. Uh, breathing is a bit controlled. And I can show you in this program how does it work. But the point is, people who are traveling between Bali, Rishikesh and Pangan, they go for complex practices. Mm -hmm. For instance, Hindu, Mantra. Zen is a base, it's a grounding. Mm -hmm. That's why the whole generations between 50s, 60s, 70s were translating Zen texts. It's there on American universities, Berkeley, Stanford. So Zen is about base that's even transcendental meditation, there's some kind of mantra. So I believe that there's a lot of confusion on the spiritual scene nowadays. Mm -hmm. Adding the information overload, the stress, even we living on this island, Instagram. So Zen is a base that everybody could easily learn mm -hmm. in to, to do it morning time, evening time. But group dynamics is different. So I'm of the generation who was there in the 80s, living in, in the centers, in Paris and Strasbourg, never mind. Yeah, so Zen, you say, is very much linked to the Taoist uh, philosophy. And uh, you say potentially it is a meditation, it is a, a sort of mystic experience, but also is a way of living. Would you say that? And uh, yeah. how does uh, you know, Zen influence the way you live? Simplicity of sitting, mm -hmm. emptying your mind. And there are three things to pay attention to. I develop within 30 and 40 years something that I integrate, integrated with some energy centers, vibrations of chakra, and even sensing Kundalini. But prerequisite, the basic condition for that is learning deep relaxation. Yeah. Everybody believes they're doing it by living in such a paradise, or Ibiza in Spain, or Crete, Matala in Greece. But art of relaxation, I combine sitting with lying on the ground in German autogenous training. In order to achieve, achieve perfect muscular release of tensions. Okay. First step. Mm -hmm. Only then you can go, when you're grounding yourself in deep relaxation, and it's like spacey flow, it's like a floating tank. It's though for those who smoke weed, which I never did in my life, and no drugs either, it's a natural high of your body. Sitting meditation, be it Vipassana or Transcendental Meditation or Zen, 
is a complete body experience of deep relaxing. Only then you have the second step of starting sensing soft vibrations through your body yeah. meridians in Tao Chinese medicine. And people even one time sitting with me come up and say, oh, I did feel like, you know, I did give instructions. You feel warm heart, warm abdomen and cool f uh, forehead. Only the third step then can be high spiritual when you're relaxed. When you're starting sensing energy sensations in your body, yeah. only then you can be connecting, which is more, you know, uh, uh, with earth as a feminine divine principle and through the top of your head with the center of universe as a masculine divine principle. Wow, so. sounds great. So basically there is uh, also an aspect which is uh, energetic, but it's more of an advanced aspect, right? So that's not... Uh... Doesn't have to be. In first session you can sense it. But the thing is, you have to practice it on a daily basis. And I always tried on, in places on the island, uh, Orion, Blue Rama, Shambhala with my friend Arthur, to set up a daily practice. It's a practice and discipline. And actually, I call it spiritual fun. It is. I combine it with Tai Chi that I learned also for 20 years in China. I combine it in some freestyle Tai Chi movements. Mm -hmm. So the fact is that I went through hardcore training in France and I had no clue, I, as you hadn't, that you will be living here, that I will be living long term in China already 25 years ago when I was 31. Mm -hmm. And I went to, through hardcore training in China to get a Dharma transmission, Buddha Dharma in Zen tradition. And it's a fun story, you know, to tell, to use. There is a good German comedy, how two brothers from Berlin come to Japan. What is the sense of Zen? What is to find meaning in life in more simple terms? I think that people back home would really benefit for simplify, from simplifying their lives. You know, there we go. People have a very busy lifestyle. So I there remember me myself, I had it for many, many years. And uh, indeed, uh, finding the time for anything is challenging, but uh, active medita ac active uh, uh, relaxation and a way to reconnect and, and to calm is uh, not something that, um, you know, it's not, it's not a chore. It's not something that you add on top of the pile of the things that you have to do on a daily basis. Because indeed, if you start practicing regularly, then it's early it's morning great. first thing. It's great, right? It's very nourishing. It's very, it's almost pleasurable, and it's uh, a way to connect with uh, your deeper self. And uh, I think possibly people need to start, and then once they f see the benefits and they feel remarkably different, then they are hooked on the meditation, and then they keep it forever. Is that I accumulated a lot of deep relaxation capacity. I can get there in three <laughs> minutes. And at best, as I'm very charismatic personality, I can get people within 30 minutes there. And then it's a, a regular thing. So I hope that we develop something because you are an expert in detox. And I love your way approach between London and Italy, how you do it and Pangan. So it's really learning in a group here and possibly putting it on YouTube with friends of your generation. Because simplifying, you, you, you all said it, it's, it's priority. How can you possibly go into Tibetan traditions, where also Zen is a base, in theory? How can you possibly go in complexity of esoteric teachings, partly Christian mysticism of Gurdjieff or Rudolf Steiner, how can you possibly go into mantras of Hindu traditions if, if, because you're flying in the upper three chakras? And that's what happens to generations who are now between 20 and 30 years old. They don't get the first three chakras grounded. Mm -hmm. And this is the advantage. As you said, active relaxation. We cannot relax even in a paradise tropical setting if we don't use techniques of active relaxing. And Zen was all about throughout the history for a thousand years. And it was accepted more than 50 years ago in California first, San Francisco, Paris and everything. So maybe we want to try a bit something, huh? Jaco, 
Would you like to explain more in detail how Zen meditation actually works by trying out a meditation with me now? Yes, I really can do that after 30 years experience of teaching. <laughs> Lovely, so I'm, I'm all yours, I'm ready. Between France and teaching in China. Imagine a white European guy teaching Chinese <laughs> people. I have a recognized transmission and it's very simple, let's try it. So, uh, it's all about deep relaxing your body. For that you better get off your chair, mm -hmm. you see, you don't, you don't get... Not like uh, that. Yeah. You samurai style, you separate your feet a bit. Yep. And you relax your lower back. You drop your shoulders. You be doing classical body scan. And it came from Zen thousand years ago. It's about breathing in, counting one to four. So breathe in and breathing out double counting from your lower abdomen one to eight so it is one to clear your mind to calm your mind your head is feeling not warm, it's cooling down. But deep relaxation is the base, grounding, Zen is grounding. I was born in a country that's very grounded, with the seaside just <laughs> not far away. You're from Croatia, is that right? No. Serbia. Oh. Not really. I born in <laughs> Bosnia, which has mountains and rivers and grounded people, because historically that was point of conflict. But we have Venice, Italy, Istria, Adriatic seaside. And uh, grounding for me in Chinese Zen is kind of natural. And everybody needs to help them not to be flying in the upper chakras, the fifth, sixth, and seventh. Need grounding on the first three chakras. Sounds lovely. So, Jaco, thank you very much for the, this little chat and experience today. And uh, this is Jaco. Zen this meditation. is Luca, and we really wait, Arthur. This is Luca, and I'm really grateful. You're welcome. We are lucky. French TV was putting in national news about freelance co-working. We're waiting for people who are even more creative than us to do with IT people. We have big plans with Italy, Tuscany, Silicon Valley, and Luca is the guy. Thank Very you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> <Voila>. <laughs>